came across an interesting case there today I see in the High Court Justice Garrett Simons is considering the question of whether a person is entitled to post anonymously on the internet. This case involves the Salesian Secondary School in Limerick. It's to do with an Instagram account that was operated for about 10 days in October 2019. Coarse and vulgar comments and posts were published on the account to do with the school, certain members of staff, teaching staff and so on. The school wants to find out who is behind the account. Remember this account was operated in October 2019 for 10 days. The question that Justice Garrett Simons is going to refer to the European Court of Justice is under the Charter of Fundamental Rights does a person have an entitlement, an implied right to freedom of expression anonymously. In other words, are they entitled to express themselves in an anonymous way behind an account like, for example, a Twitter account or an Instagram account. In this particular case, there was a referral to the guards and Tusla. It's not clear from the High Court, or the High Court wasn't clear as to what the outcome was. Probably nothing happened. The account is closed. But the question is, are you entitled to publish stuff anonymously online? Or is that right counter, uh, countered by the right to a school, for example, to exercise discipline and so on and so forth? There are a number of fundamental rights at issue here in this case. They would be freedom of expression, data protection and privacy. So does the user of an Instagram account or indeed any other account have a freedom of expression right to publish stuff anonymously online or is that qualified by a school's right to, for example, discipline students, discipline pupils and maintain good order? Those coarse and vulgar comments made, those coarse and vulgar posts published over the period of 10 days, but clearly this ha happened in October 2019. Now, the school, I think it's the Salesian School in Limerick, I think it's, I think it's a secondary school, it went to Facebook or through its solicitor, looked to have the identity or information at least handed over, which would allow them to identify who was operating the account. Facebook refused and said, in the usual way, get a court order and we'll review, reveal it. So the Salesian School in Limerick then have gone to the High Court and Justice Garrett Simons is looking at the question of publishing stuff online in an anonymous fashion behind a pseudonym or an anonymous account and if the freedom of expression allows you to do that. And just to be clear, the questions to be referred to the European Court of Justice by Justice Garrett Simons are whether the rights conferred under the Charter of Fundamental Rights imply the right in principle to post material anonymously on the internet, subject always to any countervailing objective of public interest. The court is asked if this is so, if that right is qualified in the case of the students and staff of a secondary school. It's also being asked what the threshold is to be met under the Charter or GDPR before the provider of a social media platform can be compelled to disclose to a third party information which would identify an otherwise anonymous account user. Also, is it necessary for the third party seeking disclosure to establish a strong prima facie case of wrongdoing and an intention to pursue legal proceedings? Remember, in this case, there's no intention to pursue legal proceedings. At least it's not apparent that that's the case. Alternatively, does the Board of Management of a secondary school have sufficient interest in disciplining its students and staff for their online activities to entitle it to disclosure, even in the absence of an intention to pursue legal proceedings? So there's no, or there may not be any intention to pursue legal proceedings, but in any case, does the school have the right, for example, in the interests of good order and discipline and so on, uh, are they entitled to get an order to compel the likes of Facebook or Twitter to reveal persons behind such accounts and then the ECJ is also asked if there's any necessity for a national court to attempt to put the affected party on notice of an application which seeks to identify the operators of an otherwise anonymous user account 
For example, should the National Court, should the High Court direct that the social media platform, Instagram in this case or Facebook, notify the party and inform them that they have an opportunity to make submissions anonymously to the court? I think this is a fascinating case and I think the question of publishing anonymously is a fascinating one. Is there an implied right in the Charter of Fundamental Rights, not just the freedom of expression, but to express that freedom of expression anonymously? I think that's fascinating topic simply because of the whole question of Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter and so on and the possibility for many many people, many persons to publish stuff anonymously. Hope you find this video useful. If you do I would appreciate if you gave it the thumbs up down below. Thanks a lot.